Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fair up. I've never been with anything less than a nine. So fine, I've been on fire with Sally Field, gone past with a girl named Bo. But somehow they just don't end up as mine. It's a death defying life I lead. I take my chances. I die for living in the movies and TV. But the hardest thing I ever do is watch my leading ladies kiss some other guy while I'm bandaging my knee. I might fall from a tall building. I might roll a brand new car. Cause I'm the unknown stuntman that made Redford such a star. Never spent much time in school, but I taught ladies plenty. It's true, I hire my body out for pay. Hey, hey, I've gotten burned over Cheryl Teague's blown up for Rocky Welch. But when I wind up in the hay, it's only hay. Hey, hey, I might jump an open drawbridge or toss it from a vine. Cause I'm the unknown stuff. Makes Eastwood look so fine. My speed right? Pick it up a hair. Go for it. Colt, keep it up. You're gonna make me look real good. We aim to please, Dave. <laughs> Great job, Colt. Yeah, you too, Jody. What about me? Oh, you were all right, kid. In fact, you were so good. Next time, I'm gonna let you blow up. You never give me any real credit, Colt. Yeah, well, let's just hope the bank gets credit for today's work. Preferably before I bounce another check. No, that's not a problem. I've got it figured. He's got it figured. Look at this. An executive checkbook, double entry ledger, and a complete computer printout of all your financial obligations. It's a foolproof system. I'm impressed, kid. Well, that's why I'm your manager. I didn't take two years of accounting for nothing, you know. Howie, I'm impressed. I didn't know you went to any college that long. Well, actually, I took accounting 101 at Wharton, and then I took it again at Yale. Yeah, that's the spirit, kid. Keep doing it till you get it right. You do have it right now. I'm telling you, it's a foolproof system. Your finances are organized, they're filed, they're dated, and they're paid in full. You mean we're really in the clear? Well, as long as the cash keeps rolling in. Uh, speaking of which, you better return Terry's call. Oh, can't forget that. That's part of the cash rolling in system. Right. Right. What she got for us this time? Fugitive hitman? Or a bail jumping axe murder? She left Washington State prior to her hearing. She's in violation of her bail. She? Great. This is a fugitive from justice? According to my friend Sam from up north, she is, yes. And he's going to pay us to find her? <laughs> What'd I tell you, Colt? Not so fast, kid. What's she up for? Um, assault and battery. But it's worth $5,000 to you to get her back to Washington State. We'll take it. I'm getting good at this. All right, uh, here's an address in downtown Los Angeles where she's supposed to be working. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, kid. Now, when something looks too good to be true, it usually is. But, Colt, we need the cash for my new system. And besides, this is gonna be a cinch. And so the story goes So now
who looks like this be doing with the roller derby? I don't know, kid. I'll just have to go in and find out. You know, it's starting to bother me. Tall women, roller derby, Terry at her simple jobs. I think we got problems. Kid. Ah, you're too suspicious, Colt. Come on, let's collect our five grand. Ah, I guess the Titans are looking for new blood. Yeah, not a moment too soon. Let's go, kid. Colt, tell me I don't see what I know I've seen. I can't lie to a relative, kid. Even you. this? Suddenly assault and battery doesn't seem so far-fetched. That woman's a killer. Next time Terry offers you a job that's a cinch, pass. Maybe we had a talk to offer management about changing the team colors to black and blue. So I said, let's see you try that in a full body cast. Blew her away. Excuse me, Mr. Klosky, would you autograph your picture for me? Where'd you get this? Uh, this is you, isn't it? Yes, but this well, is not I'll, my publicity uh, I'll exp photo. I'll explain it later. It's all clear, Colt. Let's go. Hey, what is this? Just think of it as a free ride back to Washington State. Let go of me! You guys have got Lynn! Well, we better hurry. We're gonna have our hands full. Hey, everybody, come quick! You guys are trying to grab Lynn! Okay, let's get her in the truck. Hey, 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 that's my trip. Tell it to the finance company. You can't do that. Next time, keep up the payments. You planning to walk me back to Washington? There they are. Let's get them, girls. Wait a minute. We can explain everything. Finish the fifth play. to use the pain sugar. Now, I've heard of running into trouble, but a whole roller derby team? Uh, actually, it was only half a team. Yeah, the women's half. And they stole your truck? Oh, no, that was repossessed out from under us. I made the checkout right on schedule. I just forgot to mail it. Great system, kid. The system's perfect. The problem is human error. So you just get your truck back, and then you go after her again, right? No, we get the truck second. I got a plan, Jody. Why are you telling me? Because you're it. You want me to fight the women's team? Hey, it'll be fair. You'll be wearing equipment. Cold, I played roller hockey, not roller derby. Skates are skates. Yeah, and wheels are wheels, and you guys got one loose. Look, we need a spotter. Someone that can get close to her. Let us know when we can pick her up. Yeah, somebody they won't suspect. And the Titans just happen to be having women's teams try us today. We saw the sign. Yeah, besides, you're great on skates. I've seen you in action, and it's just until we pick her up. Are you kidding? After what they did to you guys? Remember, you got an important advantage. You're a woman. Yeah, you can hit back. The only box office draw we got, a couple of guys trying to grab her. Either of you find out anything about that? Yeah, they said they had a warrant to take her back to Washington. Oh, damn, a couple of bounty hunters out to bring her back for that Seattle thing. Cops almost had me with the drugs right there, you know. At least they're not after us. Well, they will be if they get her back and she tells them what she knows. Exactly. Can't afford to let that happen, at least not before San Diego. After we score there, it won't matter much. Not to us, anyway. I want somebody with her 24 hours a day until then. You whenever possible, Dave. June, the rest of the time. Without her, there's no San Diego match, I can tell you that. There's no match. There's no buy. Those two come back again. You know what to do. Looks like you better get yourself another spotter, Colt. Competition looks like I lose and they win. They're never gonna hire me over girls that size. Yeah, we'll just have to even up the odds a little bit. You wait here. Come on, kid. Thank you, my bitch. 
Girls, when you get inside, we're gonna need your name, your address, your phone number, your height, your weight, your next to Ken, and please try to be legible, okay? Yeah, hey, you, babe. You been around the Derby long? No, but I'd really like to make it. Yeah, I didn't think so, rookie. Well, we probably could work something out for a good-looking chick like you. Hmm? You know, this bunch doesn't look as good as the load of cannon fodder we picked up in Bakersfield, which are all gone now. They weren't even good enough for blocking dummies or the hospital bills we picked up on them. Uh, which reminds me, the team will no longer pick up certain injuries. No noses, no sutures, no compound fractures. Everything else we'll patch up ourselves. Rookies will uh, ride in the bus. Where they can guard it and clean it up at the same time. And usually fill in as drivers. When they're not serving dinners. Or washing the uniforms. You do nasty and lecherous real well. Well, I learned it since you moved in with me. That's not nice. Not nice at all. It'll be nice to the person who has my truck. Looks like the odds have been cut down. Come on, kid. Let's get the truck. All right, girls. We're gonna... Oh, where is everybody? I am everybody. I uh, usually get quite a crowd around here. Uh. Charlie Banks, pleased to meet you. Come on. All right, now listen up. This is strictly substitute work. Well, if you can handle it, you travel with the team and maybe fill in every now and then. It doesn't pay much, but it's a start. Hey, all I want is a chance, Mr. Jackson. And you'll see. I got moves and I'm fast. Well, you better have. Uh, McCluskey, you put Banks here through her paces, and if she can survive one-on-one -on -one with you, you got the job. All right, get her uniform. Let's go. Hang on to your skate key, honey. This is the big time. Move the skates, girls. Come on. Taking a cake walk. Uh. Uh, <laughs> good, Banks. Gonna be that easy in a game. Bye, Mad Dog. Undercutter, undercutter. Okay, honey, you're okay. Just keep those elbows up. Come on. Come on, Mad Dog, get off of it. All right, not bad, Banks. I think we'll keep you around. Now, Banks, you don't have... You gotta keep some of that energy for the fans, Banks. Uh, you got your job. Jackson, you won't regret it. That's the good news. The bad news is that you got a room with her. Welcome aboard, Squirt. And you can call me Elizabeth. <laughs> that looks like our friend Harry's closed on Saturdays, kid. We're stuntmen, Colt. You're not gonna let a minor technicality like that come between us and your truck, are you? Come on, where I'm from, a minor technicality like that is called breaking and entering. Well, what do you want to do, run a car? Come on, they repossessed my truck. That doesn't exactly give us AAA credit rating, does it? Well, how about if we just leave this check in that office over there? Maybe they'll call it square. What do you think? I think I'm gonna get a new accountant. <laughs> you read? This is private property. This is going to be easier than I thought. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, we brought this money to reclaim that truck up there. Can it, Sonny? Can it? I couldn't take that even if I wanted to, which I don't. The office opens at 8 a.m. Monday. You've got to go through channels. We don't have time to go through channels. Oh? Better tell that to Fifi and Pierre. <whistles> Fifi and Pierre? <laughs> what are they, a couple of guard poodles? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? To call the police. Any suggestions, Cole? Yeah. Let's get out of here.
wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? What are you talking about? Well, when I made the team, I didn't figure on traveling. Great. Now you can keep your eye on Mad Dog. Her name's Elizabeth, and she's my roommate. Oh. Well, where are you and your roommate headed? San Diego on the team bus. Some sort of heavy rivalry down there. Well, traveling is good for the soul. We'll be seeing you there. Uh, Colt? Um, look, do we really have to do this to Elizabeth? I mean, I kind of like her, and I wouldn't feel right about arresting her. Jody, it's what we do. I didn't charge her with the crime. For all we know, she could be innocent. But that's for the courts to decide. Now, look, it's just a bail warrant, not a death sentence. Yeah, well, a bail warrant can be pretty serious to some people. Look, Jody, we'll get down there as soon as we can. Okay. Bye. Leave the book, kids, and pack a pair of socks. We're going to San Diego. All the way back east, where the sun comes up. I started driving west in my old pickup truck. All the way out west, where the sun goes down. On my Venice, California town. I'm dancing with my ballerina clown. All the way out west, where the sun I heard her talking on the phone before we left Los Angeles. She said something about a warrant. Yeah, well, we're too close to the score to rock the boat if we don't have to. You keep an eye on her. We've got too much at stake to lose it all now, right? I can handle that just fine. So what made you get into roller derby, Squirt? Well, I always like a challenge. And I guess I'm a bit of a ham. What about you? Uh, I just split with my husband. I was about down to my last dollar when Marv came along. Pulled me out of the pits. Gave me a chance to get my life together. Really owe him a lot. Sure, we're on the road most of the time, but at least I can send money back. Back? Back to who? I got a four-year-old daughter. She's beautiful. But I won't make you look at pictures. She's a Sunday afternoon Top down country drive. Oh, I pinch myself, but I'm awake. I'm blessed by the touch of fate to find someone genuine. Yeah, to find someone genuine. Cold out there. Thanks, Liz. Jody, did he hurt you? I'm okay. Elizabeth. I think maybe Elizabeth could be the target. Are you okay, Colt? 
I'm all right. I think you ruined my best shirt. Did you get a look at the guy? No, all I saw was a ski mask and a knife. Where's Jody? Oh, I stashed her in the kitchen. She'll be safe there, and the cook likes looking at her. This looks like more than a street mugging. I'm gonna pull her off this case. Hey, Matt! Out of my kitchen! Uh, health department. <laughs> yeah, sure. Call? Oh, I get it. Her husband's out there, right? It's something like that. What, are you crazy for coming back in here? That guy was trying to kill you. Wait a minute, I don't think so. Maybe he was trying to get Elizabeth. I don't care who he was after. That's not worth you risking your life for. You're gonna hang up your skates. <sighs> Listen, Colt, Elizabeth could really be the target. Now, I'm worried about her, and I'm gonna stay here and protect her. Protect her? Why? Well, I like her. I really do. Colt, this is really important to me. All right, but we're gonna stick close by. Now, if you need anything. Thanks. sun comes up I started driving west in my old pickup truck Till I reached the end of that dusty trail Like the promised land of the Holy Grail All the way out west where the sun goes down On my Venice, California town I'm dancing with my ballerina clown All the way out west where the sun The thrills of roller derby return to the sports arena. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad you're here. What a show we've got for you tonight. We've got the teamers in their white and green uniforms against the lights and red. We're expecting an all-out war tonight. As you well know, the keepers lead up the season series two games to one. Ladies and gentlemen, look. You can see the hatred on their faces. The viciousness, the intensity as they skate here in the third period of our match. Oh, what a show we've got for you. It's going to individual combat now. Man against man, girl against girl. And the elbows are flying at a rapid pace. Look at her on her wallet. And as we come down to the end of our match, I can tell you this is one of the greatest shows we've ever had here in the arena. And you fans seem to be eating it up. And well, you should. We've got only a few seconds left in our skating derby. And as we come down to the wire, look at that scoreboard. And that's it for tonight's game, ladies and gentlemen. All you folks, be sure to come back tomorrow night for the last game of the season when the Beavers again take on the Titans. Look, Elizabeth. I know that you could probably break me in half, but I'm going to have to level with you. I'm not really a roller derby skater. I'm more like an actress. I do stunts in the movies. So now you do this. No big deal. Uh, no, listen to me. When there's no work, I help out friends of mine, two friends who are bounty hunters. Those two guys in L.A.? Yeah, but they're really stuntmen, too. And, uh... To pick up some money, we... So that's why you're here. To pick me up for some money on the side? Elizabeth, please. Now, you assaulted that guy in Washington. There had to be some reason. Sure there was. There were two of them, and they were jumping on Marv Jackson. And Marv happens to be a friend of mine. Then why were you arrested? It turned out they were detectives. Then they wanted me to identify Marv, and I wouldn't. What for? I don't know. I didn't cooperate with them, so they didn't exactly fill me full of information. They charged me with assault to gain leverage, I guess. You know, Elizabeth, maybe Marv is not that great guy that you think he is. Maybe the police really do have a case against him. Marv gave me a life to live. Blind loyalty can be very expensive. You really messed up, Robertson. I mean, you really messed up. Hey, that wasn't my fault, pal. If those two guys hadn't come along and stuck their noses in... Well, the point is, she's still around. It's not healthy for any of us, is it? Hey, Dave did his best. Well, it wasn't good enough, was it? I mean, Jody Banks is still around. She's setting up Mad Dog. Well, why don't you just fire her? Because if we do, they might just scoop up Mad Dog. I don't want her around any cops now. I don't care what she does after tomorrow. <laughs> Mad Dog isn't going to talk to anybody. Well, I don't care. We'll have made our last deal by then. I'll be out of the country for good. Last game, last deal. And when do we get our cut? The usual way. I make the deal. During the game, you get your cut right after if? If what? If we get rid of Jody Banks first. Uh, you get her while you're on the rink. You know, accident. 
Accidents can happen. <laughs> Kill me? Where'd you get that idea? Someone came after me with a knife, and I was wearing your jacket. Well, I'm sorry that happened. But he could have been after your wallet or your body. Let's get back to this warrant. Okay. Okay? Sooner or later, you are going to have to face those charges in Washington. And even if my friends and I forget all about it, the computers at the courthouse will not. And people are going to come after you, and you're never going to have a moment's peace. And maybe they'll even find you when you're with your daughter. How would you like that if they arrested you when you were with her? Listen, honey, tell you what. Tomorrow after the match, I'll go get my paycheck and my season bonus. Then I'll go with you anywhere. Back to Washington, anywhere you want. Enough of this. Let's celebrate. Let's get some junk food. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute, Jody. Okay. Help! Oh, no. Cold. Elizabeth, wait! Which one of these guys has the knife? Uh, these are my two friends, the ones I told you about. Los Angeles? I just wanted an autograph. This is Colt, and that's Howie. I'll admire you from here. Uh, I'm sorry, fellas. I, I just saw Jody being pulled in here, and, uh... Well, what would you say to a fresh start? Over drinks? Two of you seem to have built up quite a friendship. I don't know you well enough to take your word, but I will take Jody's. If she wants to give you another day, you got it. But we're still gonna hang around to make sure everybody's safe. Thank you. Oh, don't be grateful so quick. Somebody is still trying to kill you. Yeah, maybe a jealous teammate or some guy you wouldn't go out with or a crazy fan. Maybe it had something to do with that assault in Seattle. Why were the cops after Jackson? I didn't ask. I didn't care. Yeah, well, I think I'd like to know. Kid, give Terry a call. She started all this. She can at least check that out. I don't want to make any trouble for Marv. Things are tough enough for the Titans, and we're all waiting for some big money after our match with the T-Birds. They draw big money, and it's our last paycheck till next year. You know, Marv Jackson was at both places that seemed to cause you trouble. Could be a coincidence, but I find that hard to believe. Ah, uh, look, we better get back to the hotel before they accuse us of breaking training. It'll all be over after tomorrow afternoon, okay? Thanks for the beer. Yeah, you two be careful. Uh, drugs. Drugs is a noun. Fill me in with adjectives and verbs. Uh, okay. Uh, the Seattle police ran in on a drug buy. When they went for the cellar, Mad Dog McCloskey leveled them. They lost the guy and they busted her. Uh, do they know who the guy is? No, but apparently this is no small-time arrest. He was dealing in hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff from Mexico. If I get them their man, will they trade for Elizabeth? Yes, I think they'd be delighted to make a deal with her. In fact, they've already offered it to Mad uh, Elizabeth. All right, you play middleman and confirm it. I'll handle this in. How? Uh, now you're talking Indian. Does Terry really want me to handle her account? We're playing cops and robbers, kid, not bookkeepers. wait till after practice. I want to ask you some questions about Marv Jackson. I don't want to answer any questions about him. Yeah, well, I want to ask you a couple. Just where does he keep his contract, his deal memos, and his travel cash? In his safe. It travels with us office to office. He carries a safe? Well, we're not exactly the T-Birds, you know. We need cash to travel. And most teams just make expenses. Now, what does he need a safe? Maybe he's just a good businessman. Maybe he's a major drug dealer. I don't believe it. 
You've been talking to those Seattle cops. Well, they lied to you. There were too many things add up right to dismiss them easily. Look, Seavers, I'll live up to my end of the deal. I'll go back to Seattle with you. But you stay away from me from now till the game is over, or the deal is off. Colt's being honest with you. He's just trying to help. Well, I don't need any help, on the track or off. You, watch her every minute. You come with me. What are we going to do? I'm going to do a safe. You're going to help set it up for me. Well, I don't know anything about safe cracking. Yeah, well, I'll teach you. First, we're going to buy some gear. You're going to need to tie and some eyeglasses. Come on. Twelve o'clock appointment. Benny Fillmore. Roller Derby World. I don't know what you're talking about. Roller Derby World. The cover story on you and the Titans. Ah, oh, there must be some mistake. You better believe there's a mistake. I never heard of you or your magazine. All right, fine. I'll just have to write the article without any interviews. Why write any articles at all? Have you got something against success? The publicity will be great for the Titans. It'll improve your gait. Look. It's mostly that the things I say have a way of being misunderstood, you know. And also, I don't like having my picture taken. I'll settle for just the players. If you'll allow me to do that, then I won't even mention your name. That's the last game, okay. Okay. So let me ask you, do you eat meat? Sure. Yeah, we eat raw meat before every match. Builds up the bloodlust. I told your friends to leave me alone. He wants to know about roller derby? Let's show him on skates. No, thank you. I'm not much of a skater. Well, it's a good time to learn. Let's get him some skates. I'll do the same thing. There was 120,000 bucks in Jackson's safe. Now, isn't that a little heavy for a team payoff? Why does it have to be for drugs? There is a possibility it could be for something legitimate. Are you going to have to see a police file before you believe me? I don't care. 
I owe him. Look, he's got that money here to make a buy. Now, all the Titans mean to him is a cover for his drug operations, and I want to nail him in the act. Well, don't expect me to help. The game's in an hour. Keep our eyes on Marv. He moves, we move. The visiting Titans in red trying to avenge last night's heartbreaking loss right here at the arena. And this crowd is on its feet again already tonight. Not many jams going on. I think that's because of the great elbow blocking, the fine hip checking, the elbows that are thrown so viciously and so often. But these girls are how to skate and how to protect themselves, and they're doing a great job. And if they now try to form a little bit of a jam, there's nothing there. We get a whiff and sends her to the outside, but she's immediately picked up by a blocker, and Mad Dog did not fight her way through. Oh, this is skating at its best. We think that at the sports arena here, week after week, we give you roller derby cards that are second to none in the United States. And once more, the big blonde trying to get by, but that hunky popper up front just won't let her get through. And again, we allude to the elbowing that's taking place. Sometimes it's legitimate, sometimes it isn't. But how can one referee watch all of these gals at the same time? You know it's impossible. Mad Dog doesn't see better. Hey, Jan, you're in. Tonight, and she's got a scowl on her face as she comes to the interior of the ring. If Mad What's Dog with you tonight? You're not concentrating on the game. Are you? Or are you just waiting to make your buy? What are you talking about? Nothing. Never mind. I won't give you away. Coach Marv Jackson has got a very perturbed look on his face after that confrontation with Mad Dog. He seems visibly shaken as his Titans go after a split on this weekend series with the T-Birds. And it might be said again. It's the guy in the gray suit. Do you stay with him? I've got Marv. And the T-Birds, as you well know, are regarded around the world as one of the great units ever in roller derby history. They want to keep that championship form going. And they do not want to lose to these Titans tonight. There we are. That's the end of period number two. 46 to 40. Wow, what a period. Don't go away. The third period coming up. Do avail yourself, so ladies and gentlemen, to the refreshment stand. Hey, Dave, hey, you. And you'll find choice. I want you to play manager last period and I'll close out the powder deal. Why don't we just all split together? Yeah, we got problems, man. Mad Dog knows all about our drug deals. Well, she'll talk. She says she won't. But either way, I can't trust you anymore. Dave, you gotta handle it. There won't be time before the buy. Then do it on the rink, Robinson. In front of an audience? It's the best place. You'll hear the announcer. No holds barred. Grudge match. Everybody on the rink at once. It's a dangerous place. Somebody might get her neck broken. Maybe even two people. See if you can do some nice permanent damage, Robinson. You gotta buy us some time. I think we can arrange that. two girls yet. He's gonna wait till he sees you in the stadium so we can leave in a hurry. Hold it. I just wanted to know.
know if you had a match. Very original. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Colt, that guy's got red hands. Yeah, so does anybody that touches that money. I dusted it with Jensen's violet. Turns your hands red, won't wash off for days. Watch him. Jackson's capture, and you're going to testify against him. I think you'll be skating right along. Hey, Elizabeth, why don't you give him a lesson? The whip! Give him the whip! Thank you. 